All right, here we're going to look at some examples of multiplication and division of integers. And the only thing you really have to remember are just the rules about signs. So 8 times n negative 9, we have a positive times a negative. A positive times a negative is going to give us a negative number. And then I forget all about the signs. I just say, well, 8 times 9 is 72. Therefore, 8 times negative 9 is going to give us negative 72. If you have two negatives, you know, a negative times a negative, that always gives you a positive. So 4 times 7 is going to give us 28. So it says negative 4 times negative 7. Hey, that's positive 28. Exact same rules with division. Okay, so we've got a 48 divided by negative 2. So we have a positive divided by a negative. That's going to give us a negative. And then 48 divided by... Uh, 2 is going to give us 24. So 48 divided by negative 2 is going to give us negative 24. So let's see. Part B, we've got a negative divided by a negative. It's the same rule as with multiplication. A negative times a negative is a positive. Likewise, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So it's definitely going to be a positive number. Then I just forget again about the, the signs. I say, well, 35 divided by 5, that's going to give us 7. So negative 35 divided by negative 5, well, that also gives us positive 7.